This is to introduce to you a cable port locator Telscout TS90 which is TDR based cable tester for locating faults in metallic cables having application for telecom and signaling railway cables, LV power cables, highway street lighting and airport cabling. It's a unique instrument having just 1 kg weight and measures the fault instantaneously up to a distance of 15 kilometers having an accuracy of plus minus 3 feet over 10,000 feet. Before the instrument is put into use, we take a sample of the type of cable to be tested for faults whose length is known for fixing the velocity propagation of the sample cable. We have measured this cable and the length of it is 6.47 meters. Now put on the machine by pressing the on off button. For a better visibility of display on the screen of the instrument, press the backlight button for illuminating the screen. Now press the setup button, followed by the test type button thereafter. Further press the button for more setup. This will enable you to set the units of measurement, say meters per microseconds or feet per microseconds, etc. Select the units and press the button of the previous menu to go back. Just at the top of the instrument is a provision of jacks for the test pair and the reference pair. Now we plug in the pins in the respective jacks. illustrate, let us take the test pair only. Please take care that the color code of the pins should match the color code of the jacks. The other end of the lead which has crocodile clamps should be connected to the pair of the cable to be tested. To define and feed the type of cable, press define cables button. Feed in the type of cable by selecting alphabets, numericals from the virtual keyboard. Say we feed ABC as the type of cable. Press done. Some velocity of propagation against this cable would randomly appear which in this case is 70 meters per microseconds. Now we press exit button. This sort of a graphical representation shall appear. The initial spurt upwards in the graph represents the start of the cable at 0 meters. 
Thereafter, it shows a straight line indicating that the cable is OK. Press more cable button to check the further length of the cable. Now we see another spurt upwards in the graph which indicates an open end fault or a cut cable. B. Bring the cursor to the start point of the upward spurt. This now shows the length of the cable as 5.7 meters whereas we know that the sample cable length is 6.47 meters. We shall increase the velocity propagation in this case by going to setup then define cables and finally velocity propagation and with the help of the up and down arrow fix the velocity propagation by increasing it in this case to an extent such that it corresponds with the length of the sample cable which is 6.47 meters the velocity propagation in this case comes to 82 meters per microseconds so as to get a length of 6.47 meters on the screen. To illustrate this, press exit. The graphical representation shall again appear. We now bring the cursor at the beginning of the upward spurt again. Press the button expand for a better and enlarged view. We now see that the cable length being shown on the screen is 6.47 meters. This means that the machine is now set to measure the exact distance to the fault of identical type of cable for all times to come as the velocity propagation has been set for this type of cable. Similarly, we could repeat this exercise for other type of cables. The upward spurt signifies an open end fault or a cable cut. In this case, the cable length is 6.47 meters only and shall show open end fault at the other end of the cable. To illustrate a short cable fault, we go to the other end of the cable and short the same pair. It suddenly shows a downward spurt in the graph which means that the cable is short at a distance of 6.4 meters. Similarly, other different graphical representations shall show different type of faults like wet splice, water ingress, high resistance splice, etc on actual site conditions of the cables as shown in the chart. Various live demonstrations have been done at different railway sites on telecom and signaling cables and the results have been precisely accurate prompting the railways to go ahead with procuring this product. To finding distance to fault, type of fault, measuring cable lengths in drums etc. This instrument is a boon for all types of cables other than HT cables for detection of faults and location of the same, for maintenance personnel, for addressing the faults with ease.